in previous lecture we have seen the difference between conventional machining and non conventional machining process if you have not seen this video the link is in the description please click on the link and see the video in today's lecture we are going to see one important non conventional machining process that is abrasive jet machining it is called as ajm in this lecture we are going to see what are the equip working process working principle for this abrasive jet machining what are the equipments and working process what are the applications for this abrasive jet machining its advantages and disadvantages for this abrasive jet machining so from this picture we are going you can see it is a non contact type of machining process where we are passing uh, abrasive particles with the compressed air from the nozzle which is at some distance from on the work piece to get the desired shape so abrasive jet machining is a non contact type of non conventional machining process so first is the working principle basic principle of this abrasive jet machining is a abrasive erosion where a high velocity jet of abrasives is utilized to remove material from the work surface by impact erosion so high velocity of jet of abrasives are passed from the nozzle and where when it is passed to this nozzle it is impact on the work piece surface and due to this impact of the high velocity abrasive jet the abrasive erosion is taking place and brittle fracture and the work piece is removed from the work piece surface is removed from the work piece so commonly used abrasives are aluminum oxide silicon carbide sodium bicarbonate crushed glass or glass beads so you can see this picture on the work piece if you want to provide if you want to produce any cavity so from the nozzle top of the nozzle air plus abrasive particle stream is passed this stream is having a velocity about 200 meter per second it is from top of it is passed from top of the nozzle and impact with a high velocity on the work piece surface and it provides the cavity basically this abrasive jet machining is used for machining of hard and brittle materials now what are the equipments used in abrasive jet machining and what is the working process that we are going to see so this is the setup for the abrasive jet machining first is a in a condenser we are supplying the gas this supply of the gas we are using basically a compressed clean and dry compressed air instead of other gases that we can use a carbon dioxide nitrogen but instead of that we are using a clean and dry compressed air so from this container the gas supplied as a gas propulsion system this gas is passed to this filter where in this filter we are clean the fuel which is supplied means any dust particles which is present it is filtered from this filter at the pressure regulator we are controlling the compressed air flowing through this pipe then this compressed air is passed to this mixture where the we supply the abrasive particles so whatever the compressed air coming through this pipe and the abrasive particles which is supplied it is mixed and then this mixed abrasive particles with a high pressure is goes through this nozzle this nozzle is having a small diameter which is about 0.18 to 0.8 mm then it is coming pro out from this small diameter this high abrasive jet uh, air and impact on the work piece where the material removal is taking place due to micro cutting action that is brittle fracture of the work piece is taking place and if you want to provide any cavity that cavity we can get so these are the equipments and working process for this abrasive jet machining so this working process we are using for some of the applications that is cutting slots and thin sections contouring and drilling operations producing shallow devices and deburring 
producing intricate whole shapes in hard and brittle materials. This we are using for cleaning and polishing the plastic, nylon and teflon component, frosting the interior surface of glass tube, etching of marking of glass cylinders, mustering super alloys and refractory materials. For that purpose we are using this abrasive jet mustering. So this is the picture of the components which are manufactured by using abrasive jet mustering. So you can see the in intricate parts we can produce any slots on the workpiece surface we can produce by using this abrasive jet mustering that is clean and sharp shot we can produce otherwise we can produce the drill holes which having a good surface finish that we can get. So this abrasive jet machining it having some merits that is main advantage is flexibility, low heat production, the surface finish can be obtained is smooth, cost of equipment is low as we are using the compressed air as a fuel supply and uh, abrasives as a crushed glasses so the cost of equipment is low, the ability to cut intricate hole shapes in hard and brittle material then last merit is ability to cut fragile and heat sensitive material without damage. With merits it's having some demerits like material removal rate is very low, poor machining accuracy, high nozzle wear rate, the soft material cannot be machined because additional cleaning is required on the work surface because the uh, sticking of the abrasive grains will be takes place on the software materials. So in this lecture we have seen what are the working process of this working principle of abrasive jet machining equipments and working process then what are the applications advantages and disadvantages of this abrasive jet machining. So if you like this video please stay connected and subscribe my channel click on bell icon to get more notification. Hope you have liked this video thank you thank you very much. If you are any having any comment uh, any doubts please ask in the comments thank you thank you very much